This is an entry one functional skills maths paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Activity one, on the tram. A tram ticket costs Rob £16 if he buys it at the tram station. A tram ticket costs Rob £14 if he buys it online. How much will Rob save if he buys his tram ticket online? So we'll do 16, tick away 14. 6 tick away 4 is 2. 1 tick away 1 is 0. So the difference is £2. That's how much Rob will save when he buys the tram ticket online. Rob spends £14 on the tram ticket. Write 14 in words. Rob gets to the tram station at the time below. What time does he get to the tram station? So looking at the shorthand, that is at 11. And the long hand is at 12. So this shows it's 11 o'clock. Because the shorthand tells us the hour. So that is 11 clock. Five people are on the tram. Ten more people get on. What is five plus ten? So ten add five. Five, if you add nothing to it, if you add zero, that will be 5, and then we have 1 here, add nothing to it, gives us 1, so 15. If you're not comfortable with this, you could start with 10 and go up to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 5 additional ones. So 15 is the answer. This chart shows the number of people on the tram. At what time were the most people on the tram? So, looking at the bars, which one is the highest? It's this one here. So that is at 3 o'clock. This is the end of the first part. This is now the second part of the paper. You can use a calculator for this part. Activity 2, taking the bus. Liz travels to work on the bus. Three buses are in the bus station. Which is the longest bus? Tick your answer. So looking at all three of them, this one seems to be the longest, so it's going to be option B. The bus fare costs one pound. Liz wants to pay with coin A. Is she correct? So looking at coin A, that is just one pence, not one pound. So is she correct? I'm going to say no. It's just one pence, one p. Liz buys a return ticket for £2. She pays with a £20 note. Liz works out her change. Put the missing symbols in the boxes. So Liz is working out her change. 
she's paying with a 20 pound note and she's paying two pounds for the ticket so 20 take away two gives us or equals 18 Liz looks at the seats on the bus. These seats are empty. How many seats are empty? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Activity 3. Hiring a moped. Rob saves his money to hire a moped to travel to work. Rob asks the man in the shop about hiring a moped. The man says that they are fully booked for the two months that are missing below. Write the missing months in the table. Months of the year. So we've got January, February, March, April. Next one is May. June, then July, we've got August, September, October, November and December. So we've added the two missing months. Rob hires the moped. He hires the moped on the right. Which is the moped that Rob hires? Take your answer. So on the right. This is in the middle, this is on the right. So option C is the correct one. Rob drives around the city and sees road signs. He sees a sign that is round and another sign that is a triangle. Tick the signs he sees. So one that is round, that's the circle here, and a triangle, which is this one here. Rob parks the moped. He parks in the widest space. Which is the widest space? Take your answer. So widest of them all, looking at them. This is probably quite narrow, this one as well. This is a bit wider, and this is the widest. So, option C. Activity 4. Buying an electric bike. Dan buys an electric bike to travel to work. Dan wants a bike with big wheels. Tick all of the bikes he could buy. With big wheels, we've got C and D. The rest of them have smaller wheels. Dan wants to buy a helmet. He has £12. Which helmet does he buy? So this one is front light, so it's not a helmet. Rear light, again not a helmet. Lock, not a helmet. We've got red helmet and white helmet. Now again he's gone, only got 12 pounds, so we're going to go for the red helmet. Dan buys a helmet for £12 and a lock for £4. How much does he spend in total? So that is 12 add 4. So you can use a calculator. You can just press 12 and the add symbol and then 4. Then equals in a calculator. 
and it should give you 16 16 pounds that's not forget the unit because it could have been 16 pence the helmet is in a box name the 3d shape of the box so looking at this this is like a an ice cube or sugar cube so it is a cube The letters are jumping up and down for some reason but you get the idea hopefully and this is the end of the paper